i'm kirk with imperial retrievers and today we had a training session we've had some clients come in we were specifically working with puppies today most of the the dogs that we're running are between the ages of say six seven nine months right in that range the clients come they train with us it helps transition those dogs back to them when the dogs go home and it gives the client the opportunity to learn how to uh, handle their dog and in some cases make mistakes and just like the dogs themselves they learn uh, how to correct themselves and and, uh, and do a better job next time we had a land scenario set up at first uh, we set some some wingers out and uh, we run the pups off of the wingers we use uh, dead ducks uh, it's more of a natural thing. It, it gives more scent and allows the, the pups to find those birds a lot easier. We did another drill where we had hand throwers out and we had helpers uh, uh, throw the, the ducks for the pups. If the pups got in trouble, broke down, then the, uh, the bird boy could actually help the, the pup out and, uh, and find it. Because we always preach success, we want to have success every time they go out. Even if they make an initial mistake, we want them to, uh, to end on a good note. Good boy. <laughs> we uh, will go to water. Uh, we'll do some water work as well. The same type of scenario, marking scenarios. Uh, fairly simple stuff, but again, the pup has to learn. Uh, uh, starting out fairly easy, just like a child. Um, once we finish with the, the puppies, uh, then we'll go with some older dogs, do some multiple marks. And then we'll run some finished dogs where they're actually ready to finish left the tests and uh, just to evaluate where they're at with their training, right? clients join us and again we always stress that it's great for the client to be there uh, we love all of our clients that have dogs with us to please come and train with us as much as possible they'll find it much easier to uh, to work with their dog once they get it back from me and um, the dog will bond with them a little bit better she knows what's coming okay let's mark <laughs> mark good, good. got a little black female named penny with her owners uh, Penny is right at seven months old. We're training in moderate cover today. This is something that you might see while you're doing a field hunt for ducks or geese. Um, and we want the dog to have to mark the bird, but they have to learn to hunt in cover to where they may not be able to see it clearly from a distance. They have to work into the area, uh, find the bird, use its nose uh, as well as its eyes. So you'll see Penny doing some uh, some work uh, digging these birds out. We had a red female, uh, a little female named Bella, uh, with her owners today. I believe Bella's right about nine or ten months old, and uh, they'll get a lot of action and uh, get to see them work. Good. That you can see how uh, how she's got a lot of great prey drive. As she goes out, she likes to find the bird. She puts a lot of effort into it, and she uses her nose very, very well. 
so Bella's had some great success today, and uh, and Jason and Kimmy have to be very proud of, of how she's turned out. And we'll continue to work with both of those dogs, uh, increase the distance that the marks uh, will be thrown from, and will increase the, uh, the d degree of difficulty in regards to how much cover they'll hunt in, uh, and how many factors are involved, and then that factors by, when I say that, I mean uh, uh, the wind direction, the wind speed, uh, the roll of the terrain, the depth of the cover, those are all things that can uh, make it more difficult for a dog to find uh, the retrieve. So we try to increase those as the dog improves with age and maturity and uh, experience uh, to where it becomes more of a finished dog with time. I'm going to run Simon on a finish setup. Now a finish test uh, through the Hunting Retriever Club uh, is three marks and a mark is when the dog actually sees the bird fall. So if you look out into the field, we've got three wingers set up. Those will be throwing the ducks remotely. Uh, once he's picked up his uh, marks, then if you look far out to the right front, there will be a uh, orange pole out there. That's our blind pole. There's a duck already placed at the base of that pole. Simon didn't see us put it out there. So that's a blind retrieve when the dog doesn't know the location of the bird. And you'll notice on his way back in, uh, we'll cast another duck right in front of him as he's coming back from that retrieve, and that's called a diversion. Uh, we want the dog to continue in with the bird that he's got in his mouth in, and uh, once he's delivered that to hand, we'll sit him and then send him on the diversion. So uh, we're doing this test basically in preparation for the fall uh, hunt test season. Um, Simon will uh, begin running the fall test here in, in August. So we like to uh, put out a challenging test just to evaluate where they're at in that process. So uh, we'll watch Simon run this and um, I, think, I think you're gonna be impressed with, with uh, what he does. Throw me a duck over my it. shoulder. Okay, you got it, David? Yep. Thank you. 
finish land test right there. That's a passing finish land test. Assuming now he would have to go sit in honor, and if he didn't honor, then he'd fail. But that was, that's what you want to see right there. Good boy.